What's up, you guys? So what I wanted to do was I wanted to go ahead and talk about all the guys out there that have uh, the 6th gen conversion lights on your Camaro. As you can see, I got mine finally working for the signals on the car. So for you guys that have been asking and asking and asking, and you guys are like, yo, Dilla, bro, when is there going to be a harness? When is there going to be some that plugs to make these work? So those are the 6th gen conversion lights. And what's happening is, <laughs> like for myself, all the guys that have a 10 to 13 Camaro, which mine is a 13, uh, these lights, these conversion lights, which I'm gonna show you in a second, they're made for the 14 and 15 Camaros. So they're not made for the 10 to 13 Camaros. So uh, RGV Shelby, as a lot of you guys know, um, sells this kit where you can get the six gen conversion headlights for your fifth gen um you get your drls also where he can get them uh where they change colors as well he supplies all of that coupon code is hitman 10 h-i-t-m-a-n number 10 and what happens is for the 10 to 13 guys the harness is not the same that comes for the car like the uh 14 to 15 guys so it took us some trial and error it took us uh, you know like a month or so i know he's been busy you know, with everybody else that's been ordering the kits. So I've been really patient, um, but it just really sucked because at that time I didn't have my signals going off in the front because the wire was disconnected and everything on the back of the car, when it was flashing, it was it would like start out slow, then it would start flickering quick. Like it, sometimes like if your bulb is burnt, it'll do that. Or if your harness is disconnected, it'll do that as well. So in my case, it was disconnected in the front and we finally got it done. So the price, for the harness is normally 150 um, but if you guys put in that coupon code hitman10 you guys can get them for 120 so save you a little bit of money there and and it's definitely well worth it because you need your signals to be flashing in the front so people could see what's going on now what you have to do is when you get the harness in as soon as you get this harness in let me see if i could um flip this camera if it works that'd be great if it doesn't work then I can't do that. <laughs> so once you get your harness in, hopefully this is capturing it. Uh, once you get the harness in, there's gonna be a, a, a wire that you have to plug in, which is actually right here. You can see I got a fuse set up right there. Um, I believe that is F18, if I'm not mistaken. That's the fuse, it's F18. Um, you replace that one and you put the one that he sends you. It has two fuses in there. Um, and what it does is the signals are actually sequential. So it's really, really cool. The way they work is once your, uh, that little light bar, like the brow, whatever they call that, for the DRLs is on, um, you'll have these on like normal uh, in the daytime. And then, you know, these come on as well. But as you could see, it's just scanning away. And right now I got it where my hazards are on. So both of them are doing it at the same time. But it's really cool because when you're sitting at the light, it has that little scan, which is awesome. Let me see if I can catch in the front. There it goes, see that? Well worth the investment, definitely need it because that's the only way you guys could uh, have them. You need that harness so that way you can make it work. Um, but I'm really excited and I wanted to do a video on it on here because um, you know a lot of people asked and they said, bro, how are we gonna get these harness to work on YouTube? you know a lot of people ask and on instagram a lot of people ask me so finally we got them done make sure you guys order yours from rgv shelby on instagram it's rgv shelby and get your signals going like that man it feels so much better knowing that those work and they look freaking awesome it looks crazy in the daytime too when they're going so make sure you guys get yours if you have any questions on the install He'll definitely walk you through it. It's literally plug and play. Um, you just plug it where your original harnesses are. And then it has a red wire that uh, it's already pre-tapped and set up. You just tap it into this wire on this side and then it traces all the way down to the other side and you tap it in that wire as well. Actually, I think I could see it from here. Hold on. I might be able to see that wire. There's that wire right there. That's in the harness. If you guys can see that wire right here, that's already tapped into the harness. So you tap into here and it, go, it traces all the way down and, and it connects to that one. Then it goes to the fuse box. 
That's it, other than plugging in the actual harness. Other than that, you guys, if they don't work, here's a tip for you guys. If they don't work and you plug them in, you want to plug them in first. And then once you plug them in, then you turn your ignition on forward. Don't start the car. Then you can turn your ignition on forward where your DRLs are on. And then from there, hit the signal lights and see if they flash. And if they flash, perfect. If they don't flash, most likely they're going to just turn on. The yellow will turn on. But they shouldn't be on because in the daytime those are not supposed to be on only when you hit the switch just like on an original six gen that's what it is so you don't see the yellow amber light or it's like yellowish orange whatever you don't see the amber light um until you actually hit the signal so make sure you guys do it like that and what what happens is if for whatever reason it they come on right and then you guys are like man the signal is not working all you want to do is this is the main plug right here that you're that you're swapping out right there that's your first one that you're plugging into and then there's another one that's down there it's brown so one of them's for the turn signal one of them's for the headlight right so you're going to start out with the black harness first and just flip it take it out flip it plug it back in do the same with the other side and then hit the switch see if it'll see if it'll uh the signal will turn that's what i did and it worked all you got to do is flip it if that doesn't work either and you start with the black side harness first and you flipped it both sides and you hit the switch and nothing happened then go to the signal one which is this one right here with the yellow wire it's got a brown harness then then you go to if you guys can see that it's kind of hard because my camera won't flip there's a signal wire right there the brown harness then what you want to do is flip that one on both sides then hit the switch and it should work just like how mine did so Hopefully this helps you guys out. I don't want it to confuse you. If if it gets too confusing, all you do is message RGV Shelby and he'll walk you right through it. And, and if you don't want to go that route, just play my part over that I just mentioned to you and you'll be all good to go. So as you can see, finally, 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 I'm so excited to have these working. They look awesome. And at the same time, people could see you coming, switching lanes. When they're looking in their rear view mirror, they see you hit the signal. It's very, very important. In the meantime, between time, man, I appreciate all the love and support, man. A Dilla Promenator. Bow.